So post strike comes into a lot of different questions about spending. And let's go ahead and talk about, you know, like your revised spending guide. What should you spend your money on? How much money should you spend? And quite honestly, if you're not the biggest person in your ca uh in your kingdom or if you're not like a close second, um I would highly recommend that you don't spend any money. Now, keep in mind, you are going to need gold. There's always a need for gold, and that's mostly for shielding. But you really don't need that much gold, because you can get them in various different ways for free. Um, So, I mean, yeah, it, it's a money game for sure. However, you just can't spend any money now. It's just then, it's a constant sinkhole of spending money. Now, I, I just... You know, it, you, you just can't do this anymore, like, with spending. Because, I mean, at least personally, you know, everyone has their own different means. And everyone's different. However, in the end of the day, it's going to be the same thing. It's always going to be, there's something going to be new. And there's going to be something different that you need to buy and spend your all your money on. And you just can't do this anymore. It just, it's never going to end. And you're always going to be spending something on something different in order to maintain your position in the game. And honestly, unless you're the biggest person, you know there's no reason to spend your money. Because the biggest reason can carry your kingdom. Now, if you're a KVK player and, you know, you see a need, I mean, there's, there's to a certain extent that you want to spend. You know, take your time. You don't want to be immediate. Because after a month, everything's going to get cheaper. I mean, we saw the exact same thing with Ice Lord gear. And, I mean, it's going to be the exact same way with just about anything else in this game. So, I mean, it, literally, I wrote on a notepad, Hey, make a video about a revised spending gear guide. And I wrote, literally, question mark, no, don't spend. That's it. I mean, it's that this is my best guide to you. I plead with you. Strike spending with this game. Do not give Fun Plus any more money. People are commenting on my videos saying I'm a developer for GOG. That could be furthest from the truth. I'm a pilot. I know nothing about coding. I know nothing about how to make a successful business. I mean, I've seen such a successful business with this company. However, it's su successful because it's just a trap. It is literally just a money trap, and I highly urge you not to spend or give them any of your money. The scheme has done nothing for me. You know, I think the only person that they actually sponsor, like, as a player, is Revenge Gamer, and I don't want to get sponsored by Fun Plus. But, literally, the only reason he's spent so, uh, like, he's, uh, sponsor is because he's literally spent so much money on this game, and it's not even funny. I can't even fathom how much my, like, how, like his actual cost to play this game. I, I, I just, I can't do it. I can't imagine it. You know, good for him, I guess. I, I don't know. It's probably not. I mean, there's so many better things in life to spend your money on. Now, granted, I've probably, probably spent the same amount of money as him, but I've done it between Guns of Glory and King of Avalon. I've split it up. I really screwed myself, but. That's besides the fact. I just urge you, don't spend your money. It's not worth it. I mean, 
off. I take a month off and like look at all these things like platinum manuscript used to, like part uh, can be used to make an upgrade airship parts like that's completely new. That's another thing I'm going to spend a couple thousand dollars on. Curiosity cabinets. No, no idea what this is either. I mean, it's, just, it's you know, why am I going to spend my money on this? I've well, I mean, there's a perfectly great explanation as to why I need to spend my money on it. Oh, this is all for catacombs. Sun King equipment chest. I mean, look how cheap this is. I always said, don't get this. Do not waste your money. But it's gonna be. So, it's so cheap now. I mean, I'm still saying don't don't do it. I'm I'm still all for not doing it. But at the same time, it's not even funny how cheap things are now. Can you even buy a Demon Hunter? I don't. I just, my gear is so antiquated. Duelist gear, you probably can't buy that either. I mean, I I did I did see um the retribution chest, but I mean, there's no point in buying this. It's a lot cheaper and a lot better to go ahead and buy the Sun King equipment chests. You're getting so much more for your money by buying this. I mean, don't do it, because it, it's a trap. You're still going to be spending several thousand dollars just to get this. And that doesn't mean that anything you do is going to be worth it. So, I mean, this is my guide to spending in Guns of Glory 2019. It's don't. Don't give them. Don't give in. King of Avalon's doing the same thing. No one is spending money. No. Everyone's striking it. But it's already too late. We've already given them so much money. We can't stop the pace of the game. The Q&A, 30 minutes of absolute BS. Listening to our complaints. There's no way they're listening to anyone. And 30 minutes, that's the most that of time, the most amount of time that they can afford to send one person to respond. One person, 30 minutes, is all they give us. Really goes to show you how much Guns of Glory cares about us as humans and not just money income.